Welcome to Stanley, Scuba, Sailing, and Adventures. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today we're diving in Illinois. The dive site, Vermette Springs, October 8th, 2020. This will be my third dive of the day. On the last dive, we explored the outside of the Boeing 727 that was wrecked for the movie U.S. Marshals. On this dive, we'll do some penetration. The nose of the plane sits in about 50 feet of water. The plane is facing down with the tail in about 15 feet of water. The fuselage is roughly 120 feet in length. With all of the doors removed, both forward and aft, entering and exiting the wreck is easy. In addition, inside, all of the seats have been removed. This makes the swim through easy, with plenty of room for both you and your buddy. Wreck diving or diving in any overhead environment requires special training and it's strongly recommended that you get that training before you attempt diving in a wreck or other overhead environment. The Boeing 727 was produced from 1962 to 1984 I believe this wreck has been in the water since approximately 1998. So the wreck's been underwater here for over 20 years. It's in great condition. This is probably due to it being in fresh water as opposed to salt water. The metal does not break down nearly as quickly in fresh water. Salt water will corrode metal approximately five times faster than fresh water. Here we are at the very tail of the aircraft. The dorsal fin, our vertical stabilizer, has been removed and there's a hole in the ceiling from which you may enter and exit the fuselage as well. Next, we'll head over to the school bus. The school bus rests in about 15 feet of water. There's a platform with a motorcycle on it at the front of the school bus, a platform with a bathtub and bowling balls at the rear of the school bus. Beyond that, there's a small boat. The passenger seats on the driver's side of the school bus have been removed. The front door and the rear door have also been removed. This makes the school bus a great swim through. Again, it's an overhead environment and a wreck dive certification, training, or other overhead training is recommended before entering any wreck or overhead environment. As we enter the school bus, you can see the driver's seat has also been removed. This makes the entry very easy. I have to turn sideways to get my camera in, however, because of the lights. It's a little too wide for the door. There are many small fish inside the school bus. I'll finish the swim through of the school bus, pass over the bathtub full of bowling balls. We'll take a quick look at the small boat just beyond the school bus and then head back to the dive platform and up to the dive dock to make our exit. There's my dive buddy waiting for me at the other end of the school bus. 
Hey, dive buddy. There's the bathtub. And the boat. Keep an eye out for the mermaid in the back of the boat. I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate you watching. I ask that you please hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you next time.